Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Matic. So at the moment, this wave count is just moving according to plan. Um, we are getting into the support region here currently of the wave four, and this is where we wanted the price to get to, given um, a possible trade being on the horizon in a wave five. Okay, so we've been observing the last few days the development of this wave four um, very weak b wave i have to say very weak b wave so i'll take resistance out now um, we did say it could get quite an aggressive b wave, or it could become quite aggressive in um, if um, well it could get quite aggressive as a b wave because the a wave was a three wave move a b c now it was very weak so that either tells me that either wave A is still in the making, but then it would be a very aggressive A wave. Yeah, and then an A wave as it's some kind of a diagonal pattern. However, I don't think that's playing out. Um, or it was just a weak B wave, you know, which is sometimes just the case. Um, essentially, the, act the, the, um, uh, the actual structure of a correction is not so important. What is much more important for trading is to ask where the support lines or support levels are sitting. We want to focus on this. Um, so yeah, let's take resistance out. And the idea is now that um, we are in wave C of four, okay? One way of calculating a target for the wave C is to take the length of the A wave, and then we go to the high of the B wave. By the way, also this head and shoulders pattern I indicated um, is playing out here right now, um, with a potential target of 69 cents. So the 100% Fibonacci extension level, definitely a level to watch. Um, not very reliable, yeah, but it is the most reliable level we have here right now with this structure. So I'm observing if the C wave ends potentially at 69 cents. Um, it's just one of the levels that we're observing here in this support zone. The next one is 70 cents and then 64.8. Now it already reached a 61.8 extension level. That's also a possible target for a C wave but it would be an unusually shallow, um, sorry for a C wave, it would be unusually shallow. So mm, not a very probable target. I mean, it's a possible target, but it's not normally an area where I would be watching for a reversal. Also given the strength and the momentum of the move down right now, as well as, um, as well as, yeah, basically here, the um, the momentum, the lack of any sub waves. So looks very impulsive. And also given that really we had this head and shoulders pattern here. And we can also add the potential target for the head and shoulders. I think that would even send us a little lower. So we take the height of the head, go to the breakout point, add it to the breakout point, and it would send us possibly just below the golden ratio there. So to around 63 cents. So the one-to-one -one ratio sends us to 69 cents. We've got the 50% retracement level, which is relevant as well at 70 cents. Um, it's going to be quite meaningful, that level as well. Then 69 cents, and then down here, the 60, let's say 63 to 65 cent region down here. As I said before, um, the support box is in a diagonal, not to be seen as an invalidation point. So if we get back below support, it's not an invalidation point or anything. It would just be too deep to be a reliable way for if the price sustains below the golden ratio, but it's also possible, okay? So it's not like an impulse where we say when it breaks below the 50% FIB level, that's it, we are watching for something different. Here it's really like, okay, we're getting into the support region. It's a diagonal, so it's not a great trade setup because we literally only topped in three waves. So it can always um, break down completely from here. That's not what we primarily watch for. But important is that we're now in a downtrend and we now we need to watch for reversal patterns as we approach these Fibonacci levels to see if a first impulse shows, a first reversal or anything. I currently intend to add positions in this area. Um, we'll see uh, how it develops over the next few hours. I think there has been some enforcement action has been um, announced by the Department of Justice in the US. So we'll see what that uh, entails this afternoon. Um, so yeah, watching for all of that. I think that's going to come out a bit later. Um, but yeah, so that's essentially everything you need to know. And the first first evidence or first suggestion that a low has formed would be a break above the B wave high at 87 cents. 
That's my update about Matic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for news updates and all sorts of stuff around Elliott Wave technical analysis and trading. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.